Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Couples Play. This time we're taking a look at Tron Evolution. Um, this is kind of special because this actually technically isn't my game. This is Melanie's. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> we got the collector's edition for her um, basically within our first year of dating. Actually, I didn't get it. Um, your, our, our Sylvie, uh, the other Wonderful. female of the show, yeah. uh, got this uh, pre-ordered for her and pulled me aside while we were at a restaurant. She's like, hey, I'm getting this for her. You want in? I said, totally. So we piled our money together and got this for her. It's the one that came with the light cycle uh, bike and all that. Yeah, you should have seen my reaction. I was rendered speechless. Yeah. So we're going to go new story. And... And money's... We're just going to go uh, normal. You sure about that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Keep it normal. So this one, actually, the, 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 game, the, the premise of the game is that it takes place before Tron Legacy. So uh, technically between. Yeah, in between the two. So ow. I hit my hand on the desk. Hopefully it doesn't make it Accident on there. Accident prone. Yeah. And there's the dude himself. So here here's the thing, like you're a really big fan of this series. Yeah. I'm I'm okay. I'm I'm all right. Like I like uh, Revol uh, I like Legacy yeah. a lot more than a whole lot of other people did. Yeah. But uh, I, the first one I couldn't get into. Like in our first year deal, like we you wanted to show it to me because you had like the special edition DVD. Yeah. And I was just like I, I was watching it. And as soon as they got like I don't know if they were like getting to the NPC. I was just like I fell asleep and when I woke up, Tron was fighting the NPC. I was just like, what happened? To be honest, like the early film is really kind of hard to follow. Yeah. And the and the one thing I like people when I hear criticisms about Tron Legacy, one person was just like, "This movie makes no sense. How can these guys, this army, go through this portal to invade the real world?" I'm like, can you listen to yourself talk? How can Flynn and his son go into the computer world? So you're you're telling me you accept the fact that humans can go into a computer, but a computer can't go into a human world. You obviously got proven wrong when you see Olivia Wilde at the end there. Hmm. I never actually thought of that, Johnny. Good point. Yeah, well, that's the last one because it's like, oh, it's sort of realistic. You can't. You can't. Uh, computers can't go into the real world, and real world can't go into computers. It's like you just. It's just, that's the purpose of the movie, is that real people are going into a computer. I'm doing computer things on my computer. Really? They got Tron cars in here. Nice. Yep. I so never there's that a, when I, we first played this a long time ago. So this is uh, your character. His name's Aeon. So basically it's like a sh it's sort of for Anonymous. But, uh, yeah, basically... Actually, I'm going to make sure that... Uh, oh, don't, no, no, don't restart, don't restart. Uh, options. I'm gonna make sure the subtitles are on. I thought the subtitles yep, were on. Yep, they're on. on. Okay. They're on. Everything's yep. good. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. So, I was, Melanie was actually trying to hum the Tron theme song earlier, and I was just like, no, copyright claim, copyright, copyright like, claim. No. Yeah. I just, hey, how can you not like this? Yeah, so, Music. first thing you're like, this I mean, is a really... Fun. For crying out loud. I'm trying to remember how to run in here. So, actually, I just realized too that this is kind of screwed up because I'm all, I think I'm leveled up. Let me check my levels. Uh, combo list. I actually think I'm already leveled up because like I've already played through and beaten this game like many a times. Like, and the re the other reason I wanted to do this is because <coughs> this is the very first episode of the achievement horror I ever did because you know it was Melanie's game and. You know, I thought it would be kind of a cool little thing, you know, you know, yeah. our first experience. And we got two Tron discs. <laughs> yeah. I, I, do you have the blue one or, or uh, I have the red I one? I think yours is the orange and mine's the blue. Okay. So right now I'm walking with Tron. This part's kind of boring. And there's number 13 right there. I think it's 13? I'm trying to remember if that's, uh... What's her? I, I don't. I don't remember her real name. She was in um, uh, uh, House. She was like a bunch of. She was like a bunch of interns that were trying to go for House. Because like, the other ones quit. Because he was too crazy. 
Do you ever watch uh, House? Uh, who in House? House. House? Yeah. yeah. Oh God. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right. You never watched House? Uh, I used to. Yeah. Uh. When I was still living with mom and dad, of course, that was ages ago. Yeah. I can't believe that's been ten years now. Can you believe this game's five years? Shit. This came out in 2010. Honey, we just celebrated five years together. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that makes jump. sense now. Oh! Stick the matrix roll. Press A to jump, grab the ledge. Now, this was made by a game, uh, a company called Propaganda Games. They're actually in works to make this really, really cool uh, action RPG-ish uh, Pirates of the Caribbean game before they get went under. And I'm like, how did that not come to be? Like, that looked like such a cool idea. Sounded cooler than the actual online game that they were doing. I mean, not... Did the game. online come through? I, uh, I don't remember. Well, the um, Pairs of Caribbean Online, it's actually not too bad. I played that before. Like I said, oh. it's not bad of a game, so... Oh. Here we go. I really like the look of this game. It, it, it plays a lot like... Oh god! Oh god! I was just running my through uh, doing stuff. Oh, now I'm remembering how to... Now I'm getting the hang of this. This is you got this, John. Here we go. Yeah. Got it. Now, this was such a fun very game. Like, of like, a lot of. Looking. Well, that's what they say that they took there. Oh, God. Oh, God. I. Whoops. Whoops. Dear as. Alright. So. Yeah, like, a, a lot of people compared this to, like. Like, that's what people were saying at, like, E3 and all that. It's like, compare this to, like, you know, the Prince of Persia games. Or Assassin's Creed. It's it's like that. Uh, you know, it's hardcore parkour. Except for the all the slicing and dicing, I guess. I, it's all. Uh, well, yeah, because like this is actually pure combat, and with Assassin's Creed, it's just uh, wait till someone uh, attacks and encounter. Yeah. There we go. Oh, it's our first bit of the... I can't remember what these were. I know they're infected, but, like, what are they? The crazies? I might call them viruses. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because, like, yeah, I beat them all on the stage, and then, like, the corruption leaves. Oh. Well, they could say they're just corrupted oh, files. <laughs> this is when you got get a bunch of combos. You gotta link them up. So I think I'm actually a little bit OP'd on this, because... It's, like, even though I started a new game, it's still playing, uh, it's got, like, my old... Because I don't see myself getting XP from killing these guys. I don't know, this might be a quick playthrough if this is the case. Oh, God! You can use real objects like benches to launch yourself in the air to perform aerial attacks. Uh, I can hear Clue talking. Now, I always thought he was like a character that survived, and I actually thought that's who Jeff Bridges was in the movie. But apparently, he dies in like the begin. Spoiler alert, he dies in the beginning of Tron 1, and then he resurrects him in Legacy to help build a new system. Alright. Oh, can't go there. So, where am I supposed to. No? Oh. It just auto plays it. So I, I remember also hearing that Olivia Wilde is the only one from the movie that supplies her voice. Huh. Like, everyone else has likeness, but that's <laughs> obviously... It's not Jeff Bridges, and then later on when you get to the club, it's not uh, Michael Shane. Quite the outfit she's wearing. It's very Queen Amidala. Yeah, so remember the pre the, the premise of the, the the second movie was that these are uh uh these these this race was born in the program. Like it's not anything Flynn created. It, they just showed up. Yeah. And then they took them in. But then Clue was just like, mm -hmm. you know, fuck these guys. We're gonna, we're gonna you know, wipe them out. And I think, to be wrong, I think Olivia Wilde was the last remaining one. And by the time that Flynn's son, Sam, shows up, Clue's got complete control of the city, and 
she's she's the last one, and he has to get her out because she'll have like cures for diseases or whatever. I'm like getting infected with a computer virus or whatnot. Yeah. <coughs> So this is Apicus. So yeah, there's all the uh, the corruption starts. <laughs> this is your and is like they're called okay, computer zombies. But yeah, they're like she she was just like don't even do anything. She sees the whole thing. She's like. I'm trying to remember if he's in cahoots with him. I, it's been a long time since I've seen I played this game, so obviously because I did that achievement horde like what three, four years ago. It's like I'm out of here. So be it. If this is what you want. Stop protagonist wants what he wants. He does what he wants when he wants. Hmm. Yeah, so I, I I guess I am still level 50. Yeah, hell, I deserved it. I played that tank level a million fucking times. Oh. This is a boss fight, but it's also a tutorial. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh god. So... Okay. You can learn about other combos by viewing combo lists on the pod screen. No shit. Really? This is one problem I have with modern games now. Everyone everyone goes they they think you're stupid and you don't read the instruction manual. And one person is just like Oh, we stopped uh, instruction manuals because uh we're trying to be green. Yeah, I can respect that, but don't also treat us like we're fucking stupid. Oh god. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to have them like a reference right in your hands. That's what I kind of miss about an instruction manual. And strategy guides too. Like, I, I, they still make strategy guides, obviously. Yeah. I kind of miss those because actually, when we were doing Tomb Raider, uh, the new one, uh, I used the strategy guide quite a bit as opposed to using the internet because it actually had like the maps and photos to so just be like, here's the general idea. Because uh, like sometimes you just, yeah. Okay. Because sometimes what you want to do is you just want to look at it and you don't want to have to go through like some guy's poorly narrated video. Yeah. Uh, it's like, oh, I agree. Oh, hi guys. And, okay, so if you go up here and you go to uh, this part, um, you'll find a uh, collectible number 11. And then like long pauses and you'd be like, oh, okay, so after going down to this place and doing this, you'll find collectible 18. I'm like, that's actually kind of what I missed with the T100. Uh, they're actually starting to do more guides now. Uh, the new one that came out, the Zombie Army Trilogy uh, game. Uh, Ray's doing more guides. And I like that because like, it's just like, oh, we're going to go up here, over here, yeah. And then you got that for another 10 gamer score. It actually puts some, you know, umph in it. Mm. You know, sometimes they will get a little off track. It's like, uh, I know we're doing a collectible video, but can I ask you a question? It's like, how big do you think Gavin's dick is? It's like, oh, okay, this collectible's here. I don't even want to think about that. Oh god, fuck. That's quite the laugh. Whack! Shattered it. Yeah, so there's an achievement for gathering all those shards. I think you would have preferred death to this. You think I prefer death? Fuck! No good at one-liners. <laughs> Damn it! Did you ever beat this game? I don't remember. New type of system monitor. Good timing. Yeah, because I'm trying to remember. Because like, you're you're the type of like we, we we'll get you a game or you'll get a game like all the collector's edition stuff, but you'll never finish it. The only ones I think you've ever finished are the Matrix, or not the Matrix, <laughs> Mass Effect. Oh God, I don't, I, I don't think I ever want to subject you to any of the Matrix games. Which is the real one? 
was once an ISO. How the fuck do you know that? No way, man. An ISO wouldn't do this. No way, man. Do we know for sure? I think someone would tell us, like, um, sir, you're actually not doing, uh, bridges in, uh, the Big Lebowski. You're doing bridges in Tron. It's like, what do you sound like in Tron? I'm like, a normal guy? He didn't say man a lot. He's not the dude. Is it a bad thing that we, none of us have... Wait, did you ever see the Big Lebowski? Nope. Okay, neither have I. Internet, is it bad that we've never seen the Big Lebowski? Probably. Well, they'll probably say, he's like, how could you not see it? Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry, you're, you're not smart enough to, you're not smart enough like me, I didn't program you to be smart enough. Let's stay focused on what's important. Eradicating this virus has to be the priority. Flynn, you should leave the Actually, I think that's Bruce, Bruce Oh yeah, Slyer. he's, uh, he voices himself. <laughs> Is, I think you were kind of surprised that we were playing this one because uh, we yeah. do have Tron 2.0 killer app. That's kind of what Xbox. I was thinking. <laughs> I need you to track down that oh, no, I, I wanted to do this one because it's the anniversary of uh, Achievement Horror. Yeah, and oddly when enough, I did them... there's plans for an, a uh, Tron 3 now. Yep, and actually we're going to talk about that next time in mm -hmm. Couples Play, and then we're going to go into Chapter 2. Ooh, ominous looking at this disc.